what, what the lady's is talking about. What's up, family? Scumbag and all-around coward Joy Zimmerman is back in the news, this time for stalking a private investigator who works for a documentary filmmaker. Court records show Joy Zimmerman was issued a summons for a May 30th arraignment on a charge of misdemeanor stalking. Sheriff's reports say that the investigator contacted Zimmerman in September on behalf of Michael Gasparro, who is making a documentary on Trayvon Martin. The series is being produced by Jay-Z. Court records show that the private investigator received 55 calls, 67 text messages, 36 voicemails, and 27 emails from Zimmerman in December. Court records don't show any lawyer for Zimmerman. Knowing him, he'd probably represent himself. You know, he's such a narcissist. Now, if you've been living under a rock for the past several years, George Zimmerman is the low-down coward who killed 17-year-old Trayvon Martin back in 2012. At the time, Zimmerman was a neighborhood watchman, and he basically stalked Trayvon Martin gunned him down, got arrested, went to trial, got acquitted, beat the charges. I'm surprised that he hasn't ended up in a 55-gallon drum somewhere in the middle of a desert. I mean, it's a lot of people doing some killing around here. I mean, you're going to do some killing. I mean, come on, you know, like, you know, why not something admirable? You know, this dude, you can tell why, you can see why he's arrogant. You can see why he continues to do the things that he do. Also, he was brandishing a, a gun, like, what was this, a, a year or so ago, riding around. He's been also trolling Trayvon Martin in his death, trolling his parents, trolling his supporters, you know, basically laughing and posting stuff on social media, all kind of disgusting stuff about this kid. And, I mean, nobody did nothing to him yet. You know? Got the Crips and the Bloods, but they doing a lot of killing. Ain't nobody got him yet. A lot of dare killings. A lot of you bumped into me killings. Looked at me wrong killings. That's my girl killings. But, you know, a guy who basically changed, could basically change the course, the way I actually not change the course, but I would say he basically shook up. He shook up society with that verdict, you know, not just with the verdict, but, you know, with his actions by basically executing Trayvon Martin. And I'm just saying, I just know people that get killed for nothing. I know people that kill for nothing. That's all I'm saying, you know. There's a future headline with George Zimmerman's name all over it. I could see it, man. I was hoping that this was it. I saw his name up there. I was like, whoa, is he? Uh, false alarm. It's ironic that he's uh, stalking a private investigator. Normally, a private investigator would probably get accused of stalking. But a private investigator, when a private investigator stalks, basically the private investigator is doing his job. They don't call it stalking, they call it investigating. But we all know what it is. But that's ironic. In any event, George Zimmerman should have been put away a long time ago. Hopefully, whatever he got coming to him, it'll be coming to him real soon. I'll probably throw a party.
for the person who get them. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about? Yeah.